Hey guys, this is Tobias Sovi and today, today is a joyful occasion as I go through everything that you can craft using the regular joyful ticket and the VIP joyful ticket in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. At least, at least everything you can craft right now in case they decide to add more stuff later. Well, either that or if I miss something. Then it's not everything you can craft, it'll be almost everything <laughs> that you can craft with the joyful tickets. So... The Holiday Joy Fest special event is upon us, and with it comes a new set of special seasonal tickets. The first is the regular Joyful Ticket, which you can acquire the same way as tickets in the past. Pretty much the easiest way is by logging in daily, which nets you one ticket. That's right, one measly little ticket. Like Willy Wonka. Don't use it all in one place. The good news is that there is another way to get them, and that is by doing your daily limited bounties. So just like past seasonal tickets, this will allow you to get four more additional tickets, giving you a total of five tickets per day. By the way, here's a quick tip when doing your limited bounties. First, take advantage of double monster quests. That's because sometimes you'll see a limited bounty that requires you to take down the same type of monster twice, like say two fish type wyverns. Is it Piscine or Piscine? Let's go with fish type. <laughs> Yeah, so instead of doing two separate hunts, you can save time by picking one double hunt, like trophy, <laughs> trophy, <laughs> trophy, <laughs> trophy fishing, for example, which has you hunt like two biototas, one after the other. Yeah, you can finish that mission in like eight minutes. One more thing is that these limited missions are usually put together in a way where you can fulfill several of them by essentially doing the same hunts, or the same like few hunts. So in this limited bounty that I'm using as an example, I'm required to do two event quests, hunt two fish type wyverns, hunt one elder dragon, complete two quests at Orphos Reach, and then hunt one Stygian Zenogre. Ah, oh, my nemesis. In the past, Stygian Zenogre. The hell puppy. Yeah, so instead of doing all these separately, which will take you like, what, eight quests to do? You can pick a few quests that fulfill several conditions at the same time. For example, doing the event quest's trophy fission, and then the survivor will allow you to fulfill the two event quest requirement, the two fish wyvern monster requirement, the one Stygian Zenoga requirement, and then the two Horfrost hunts requirement. That means you fulfill four of the five limited bounties with just two hunts instead of like, what, seven? <laughs> After that, all you need to do is hunt an elder dragon, and you're done. Because doing all five limited bounties automatically fulfills the sixth one. As they say, work smarter, not harder. Anyway, what can you use these joyful tickets for? Well, first off, you can use them to craft the lucky Crimson Tiger Pendant. Like many things from the Holiday Joyful Festival, this uses a Chinese or Asian-inspired design, in this case for a cute toy-looking tiger. The lucky Crimson Tiger Pendant requires three joyful tickets. Another way to use these tickets is to take them to the Elder Meldor to create snowmen. This basically replaces the fireworks from the other festivals and can be used to create like a giant snowman that you can then use to make snowballs so you can engage in snowball fights with other hunters. <laughs> yeah, fight me with snow balls. <laughs> you also get these from your limited bounties, by the way. So only use your joyful tickets when you've crafted everything else and then have extra ones lying around. Moving on. Joyful tickets also can be used to craft two armor sets for your Palico. One is the Master Rank version of a set that should be familiar to folks who took part in the old winter event. The full snow set Alpha Plus requires three joyful tickets, three winter star tickets, and three Eltolite Ore. Winter star tickets can be acquired by doing limited bounties while the holiday and winter events are alive, so you can get them at the same time that you're getting the joyful tickets. Eltolite Ore can be acquired from Master Rank mining spots, usually the blue ones. Yeah, I just did like a Horfrost Reach mission today, and then I started checking the mining spots, and the blue ones were where I usually got them. And then after that, the second armor set is the new Shishimai Alpha Plus. Shishi, by the way, which <laughs> like my baby relatives used to say that they want to pee, <laughs> but, <laughs> but in Japanese that actually means a lion, I believe, and then Mai means death. So that makes a lot of sense, as the Palico armor looks like a Chinese lion dance costume. The Shishimai set requires three joyful tickets and three boulder bones. The boulder bones, I believe, can show up as 
rewards at the end of a hunt, like when you're doing low rank quests in the Wild Spire Waste. And you should also be able to acquire them from gathering uh, the bone piles in Wild Spire Waste as well. And then last but not least, you can use the Joyful Tickets to craft the Oolong Alpha Plus Armor Set. This is the new seasonal armor from the Holiday Joyful Festival, which once again uses a Chinese-inspired design. To craft the armor, you will need 5 Joyful Tickets, 6 Eltolite Ore, and 6 Spirit Vein Crystals. So I've already mentioned how to get like uh, Eltolite Ore, so as far as the Spirit Vein Crystals, those can be acquired from Master Rank Mining Spots, typically the red-colored ones, as opposed to the blue ones for like Eltolite. Now skills-wise, the full Oolong set comes with 3 points of Critical Eye for 15% more affinity, 3 points of Constitution for reducing fixed stamina depletion by 30%, 2 points of Health Boost for 30 extra HP, 2 points of Stamina Surge to increase stamina recovery by 20%, and then 2 points of Coalescence which grants Attack plus 15, Elemental Attack plus 60, and 10% additional status buildup after recovering from Blights or Abnormal status effects. The armor also has 4 level 4 deco slots, one level 2 deco slot, and two level 1 deco slots. So here's an example of an all-purpose build that I quickly put together for it. Now, admittedly, the Oolong Alpha Plus isn't exactly groundbreaking. One reason you'll want to use it, however, is because of its armor set bonus, Joyful Blessing. See, using three pieces increases your chance of getting special holiday joy rewards after each hunt, while using the full five-piece set greatly increases your chance for even more rewards. These rewards uh, include an even more rare version of the Joyful Ticket that's called, wait for it, the VIP Joyful Ticket. <laughs> So the VIP Joyful Ticket basically has a chance to drop from pretty much any hunt that you do during the Holiday Joy Festival. However, it's a pretty rare drop unless you equip the full Oolong Alpha Plus armor set. Now, just to be clear, it's actually still not guaranteed to drop even when you're wearing the full set armor. However, you can only imagine how much more rare it would be if you were wearing the Oolong set. Also, keep in mind that the Joyful Blessing skill will not trigger if you join a hunt midway. So that basically means you have to be taking part in the hunt from the very start. Now if you don't want to deal with using the Oolong armor, there's another way to acquire the VIP Joyful Tickets. That's by helping out a low-level hunter with their hunt. Now, I'm not sure if that is limited to low rank hunters, or if high rank hunters are included as well. The only times I've gotten the tickets was when I was helping like a low rank hunt. But that could very well be RNG in my part. By the way, when joining a lower rank hunter via SOS, make sure to check that the hunters in the quest are actually not master rank. I actually learned this the hard way when I was trying to get the first hunter helper pendant. Because, you know, I did the required number of hunts and it still didn't show up. And so that's when I realized that some of the SOS quests that I responded to had members were, you know, everyone was actually master rank. So some master rank person just decided to throw an SOS for like a low rank hunt. Also, it's actually okay to join a hunt midway when trying to get a ticket this way. If you do join midway via SOS, don't even bother equipping the Oolong since Joyful Blessing won't work like I said previously. Just wear your regular armor sets and you can still have a chance of getting a VIP Joyful ticket like I did here. So why would you want to go through all the trouble of getting a VIP ticket? Besides, you know, sounding important. Once again, it's because of the extra goodies that you can craft. Remember that lucky Crimson Tiger pendant I mentioned earlier? Well, using a VIP ticket will now allow you to craft six more versions of that, except in different colors. So that means you get the Lucky Peach Tiger, the Lucky Green Tiger, the Lucky Violet Tiger, the Lucky Sky Blue Tiger, the Lucky Dark Green Tiger, and the Lucky Orange Tiger. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Go get him, tigers! <laughs> My boss used to say that like every single day, <laughs> or like all the time, to like motivate us. <laughs> yeah, 
Note that each of these six pendants require two VIP Joyful tickets, so you'll need 12 total to make all of them. The VIP ticket will also allow you to craft two new room decorations. That would be the Joyful Lanterns and the Joyful Snowmen. Everything's just so joyful in this event. So to craft these, go to the Resource Center and pick the option to complete deliveries. You should then see two new entries. Lighting up the place will let you craft the Joyful Lanterns by using one VIP Joyful ticket and 300 research points. The House of Holiday Joy, meanwhile, will let you craft a Joyful Snowman with one VIP Joyful ticket and 800 research points. The Joyful Lanterns can be used to replace the chandeliers in your room, and then the Joyful Snowman, on the other hand, can be placed on the shelves or on top of certain furniture. The main reason you'll want to get VIP Joyful tickets, however, is to craft yet another Oolong Armor. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, that's because the one you make with the VIP tickets is actually the layered version. Yeah, so that means you can make your character wear the Chinese-themed holiday clothes while still using the armor with the skills that you actually want. So to craft the Oolong layered armor, you will need five VIP Joyful tickets. That's it. And then you're done. You're joyfully layered. If that makes any sense. Probably doesn't. Because I'm the one saying it. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Every item and gear that you can make so far with the Joyful ticket and the VIP Joyful ticket. Once again, I say so far because the announcement says you can use them to make weapons and charms too, but I haven't seen any option for that when I check the menu for forging weapons for my hunter, as well as the menu for making new charms. I mean, I guess the shishi my lamp for your palico might count as a weapon. Otherwise, if you know of any other items that I might have missed, or if you have any thoughts or questions, please feel free to share them in the comment section. Once again, this is Tabi Asobi, and thank you for watching. Now have a joyful, joyful rest of the holidays, and enjoy the rest of the holiday joyful festival.